Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here as always. Uh, apologies for no big videos over the last couple of days. We had one, but we had to take it down, had an editing mistake, and so we've transferred some of those stories over to today's video. So yes, thank you for being patient with me yet again. I very much appreciate it, but we have some pretty big stories uh, in today's video. Some extraordinarily amazing, some fantastic for the automotive and supercar community, and then some very unfortunate, incredibly sad stories having to do with the automotive world. So hang on to your hats, folks. Uh, get ready for an action-packed episode, to be sure. And a reminder, if you enjoy getting your automotive and supercar community news all in one centralized, beard-laden location, make sure to sub to the channel, like the video. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to your news of the day. First up tonight, guys, uh, an incredibly positive story for the automotive community. Uh, a dream in the making for a long time now. On this channel and beyond, we've discussed who exactly would be getting the flooded McLaren P1, uh, a colossal task that we didn't really know if anyone was going to be up to, considering some of the crazy prices they were asking on Copart. We've theorized for a long time that maybe, just maybe, there was a sliver of hope that potentially that flooded McLaren P1 could land in one of our favorite automotive channels. Maybe Ed Bolian, maybe Houston Crosta, or the one we're talking about today, and the most likely to get it, in my opinion, that's Tavarish. A couple days ago, Tavarish took to Instagram to show a number of photos of that famed flooded P1 uh, with the caption below saying the following, if this post gets 40,000 likes, I will spend every cent I have and borrow to buy this McLaren P1 from Copart and restore it down to the last bolt for YouTube's biggest car project ever. Who wants to see this happening? Getting almost 90,000 likes. It looks like a sure thing that Tavarish is going to make a concerted effort to get that flooded McLaren P1 for his crazy rebuild project. The who's who of the automotive world chiming in with a number of very interesting comments. Shmi saying, I learned more about pools from your videos so far than I ever had previously. Therefore, you are clearly up to the task for this one. Uh, Yuri uh, saying, just buy it and leave it in your pool. And by far, one of the more interesting comments, this is actually kind of a big one here, from Royalty Exotic Cars from Houston Crosta saying, let's go, would love to help in any way we can with this project, Tavares sort of cheekily saying back, can I borrow some money? Obviously, a flooded McLaren P1 restoration project would be one of YouTube's uh, greatest restoration projects of all time, right up there with the flooded Bugatti that Houston Crosta sort of took from that state and refurbished it all the way back up into working order. Uh, I'm curious, guys, would this be something you would tune in to Tavares if you're not a normal viewer? Are you excited about this? Uh, what do you want to see if the restoration actually starts it's happening and how difficult do you think it will be uh, taking it from that incredibly crazy state, the flooded version of it, back to sort of uh, original or even beyond. If you've seen some of the stuff that Tavares has done with McLarens, he doesn't really like stop it like, you know, normal stock. He'll take it all the way beyond to show quality yet again. I don't think he'd ever be able to top this restoration project, but you never know. Put it in the comments below, guys. What do you think about this? I'd like to get your opinions. Next up, guys, another quick positive story. It's Shmi. I want to draw your attention to a video from a couple days ago on his channel and uh, make sure that we note an incredibly momentous milestone for him as well. So one of his latest videos, guys, is It's Here, collecting my new Lotus Amira first edition. Um, this is an incredible video, mostly because I love the spec that he chose for his Lotus Amira. In terms of brand new cars going out there into the ether, into the world, the Lotus Amira is one of the best looking cars for the price I think anyone could buy at this point. Um, obviously, it doesn't have like crazy power, but a pure driving experience. I think no one would argue that it doesn't have that. But go check it out, guys. What do you think of his spec? Do you like it? Do you love it? Or do you hate it? I'd be very curious to know. Additionally, on top of that, um, this is incredible news, guys. Shmi just hit a billion views for the entirety of his channel. It is something that most automotive YouTube channels, most channels in general, will never even get close to. And something that we wanted to make sure we took a couple minutes to sell celebrate, to wish him uh, all the success in going beyond a billion views, and just talk about the immense amount of hard work that Shmi has put into his videos over the years. And to give you an additional idea about how much work he's put in, he's done 5,000 videos in almost 13 years, and on average more than once a day of all the coincidences is to reach 1 billion views on Christmas Day, which is when he reached it. So another monster congratulations to Shmi. No one deserves that honor more. Um, that puts him in rarefied air. Very few automotive 
channels will ever hit that. And some of the biggest channels out there um, that you would think have hit that yet have not. So very, very cool stuff from Shmi. Big congrats, man. And real quickly, guys, Nico Rosberg, fantastic new hypercar video. You have to watch it, guys. Flat out in my Rimac Nevera in Monaco, zero to 100 in 1.85 seconds. Uh, no, that's not an error. That is actually what the Rimac Nevera does. Um, Nico has incredible videos. And when they're car centered, I always feel like they're a truly special event. Um, the cinematography, uh, the discussion, some of the action that you see is very, very fantastic. If you guys have not seen a lot of the Rimac Nevera so far, Nico's channel is gonna be a fantastic place to start getting your sort of daily dose of that insane electric hypercar. There are very few channels out there that have access to it, let alone own one. Go check out Nico's video. It's absolute bananas. Next up, guys, moving into some more somber news, something definitely affecting the automotive world, but maybe not in the way that you're expecting, guys. Jalopnik has the article, uh, dozens dead after historic winter storm Elliot traps drivers in cars. Some drivers were snowed in for two days in Buffalo's monster storm. And so initially, they thought as many as 50 people had passed away. Uh, they updated that to the total death toll in Erie County as of last morning due to the storm was 35 people losing their lives, including 27 weather-related uh, passing aways in just Buffalo, New York, according to Fox Weather. Um, what's so sad about this, guys, is, you know, people were freezing in cars, uh, they died in crashes on slippery snow-clogged streets, or died on the side of the road while seemingly seeking shelter. Officials told CNN they expect that death toll to rise as the cleanup continues. Some of the stories that have come out of this winter storm and how it affected drivers have been stuff that I've, I've never heard of before to this particular length. Um, those that lost their lives around Buffalo were found in cars, homes, and snowbanks. Some died while shoveling snow. Others, while emergency crews could not respond in time to medical crises. Uh, someone named Melissa Carrick Adula said the blizzard forced her to coach a pregnant client through childbirth by telephone. An ambulance crew transported the woman to a hospital about 45 minutes south of Buffalo because none of the closer hospitals were literally reachable. Perhaps one of the saddest stories to come out of this, a woman at 22 died after getting trapped in her car for 18 hours during the blizzard. She was scared. Andel Taylor, 22 of Charlotte, was traveling home from work in Buffalo, New York, when she became stuck. Her family told a local news station uh, she was trapped for a significant amount of time. And on top of that, uh, they basically said that they believed that Taylor died of carbon monoxide poisoning. The car was running because it was so cold and the snow was still coming in, so it blocked the pipes, the exhaust pipe, Steele said, per the report. And one of the reasons why we're talking about some of these stories is to give a uh, sort of a gentle reminder to everybody out there that we are expected to have a number of winter storms over the course of the rest of December into January and beyond. Um, you know, going to work, going to a friend's house, going to whatever you have going on, it's not worth it in these sort of life or death situations. You know, even if you happen to be a healthy, younger person, uh, you know, the, the risk of freezing to death in your car, getting carbon monoxide poisoning is extraordinarily high if emergency vehicles 911 cannot reach you during the course of a storm and, and sometimes these storms can last for significant periods of time uh, we had a bomb cyclone back uh, a couple of years ago in Colorado Springs a thousand cars were stranded at different places all around my home um, we didn't leave the house for two days because of how extraordinarily bad it got so a general reminder out there guys be careful uh, if work is making you come in try to find a way not to go if there's a significant winter storm going on it is way better to be safe than sorry. Next up, guys, uh, my man Lucky Lopez bringing you the good word from down on high about the used car market and whether you should be buying or selling a car now or maybe waiting a little bit later. His latest video, Used Car Market Update December 2022. There's only a couple of guys out there that I really sort of put 100% faith in as much as you can with sort of a market like this about where car prices are going, where they've been, all that kind of jazz, appreciation, depreciation, uh, Lucky Lopez is one and four-wheel trader is another. I talk about them all the time because I think they have the best sort of data-driven product of anybody in automotive YouTube. Uh, Lucky Lopez in particular right now has been uh, absolutely exploding in growth on his channel uh, and well-deserved too. Make sure to go check out his latest video, guys. If you're gonna be buying or selling a car, you make sure you watch his video first. You'll be very happy you did. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure to sub the channel if you feel like it, if it made you smile, if you learn something new, I would very much appreciate it. We'll see you guys over the course of the next couple of days. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye.